So we saw it demonstrated during my last live stream. I now have my hands on the new Dwarf Lab beta software. Let's try it out. So let's test it, put it through its paces and see what it's like. Let's go. Thanks very much for joining me here today on Astro Dwarf Adventures. I have been lucky enough to be able to enroll into the Dwarf Lab beta testing software. I have now my hands on it. It's on this phone and we're going to test it out. So what we're going to do is have a quick play with it, look at the features. Then I'm actually going to go outside and actually run through a workflow to running through the calibration, choosing my target and actually imaging. I'm going to try it in with the new 4K bidding. So hopefully we'll have a much higher resolution image and we'll run through the workflow from start to finish so we can see the whole thing. We'll do the best we can to get a great quality image with the new software and actually test the workflow and look at how easy and comfortable it is to use this software. So I've actually got the telescope outside right now, cooling down. So it's going to be at the ambient temperature for the shooting temperature range it's going to be in. So I'll go outside, I'll pop it in its bag, do the dark frames, run through the workflow and we'll choose a target and we'll get on with it. The good thing about it is I'm going to be able to very quickly know what's above or below the horizon. So quickly get onto my image, start the workflow, start the process, start imaging, and we'll do a few subs and see how that goes. Okay, with that being said, Let's get on with it. Okay, this is us outside. So what we're going to do is, it's now cooled down. It's been out here for about 15, 20 minutes. So we're at ambient temperature for what we're going to be shooting. So we're going to angle the lens right down, cover it as much as we can. We're going to switch off the LED indicator and the battery indicator. And we're going to stick it in its bag, close it up, and we're going to do the dark frames. So let's get on with that now. Okay, so let's launch the app. Let's uh, connect it. Found the Dwarf Lab. Let's connect that up. Right, connection success. You see at the moment the ring indicator and battery indicator are on. So we just choose on and we select off. As we can see, we now only have the battery indicator on, the ring indicator is off. So let's now change that. Okay, and we're also going to put the battery indicator off. That's off. And then we have a look. They are in fact both off now on the Dwarf 2, so that was very, very easy. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put this into it's back and we're going to run the dark mode operation. So let's do that now. And we'll close that up. Like so. And what I'm also going to do is I will switch off the lights in the kitchen um, which I'm using to illuminate this at the moment so that it is as dark as we can make it outside here. So I'm going to do that now and we'll start the dark mode. Okay, so as you can see it's lovely and dark so let's go back to the app. We're going to choose the photo button. We're going to go to Astro. Now we're going to go Functions. We're going to choose this button up here to do our darks. And it says here uh, to obtain better quality images we recommend taking dark frames to reduce noise of from the astro images. So we're going to take these darks now. Take dark frames now. Um, okay. To reduce noise images, Dwarf 2 will capture all the frames. And that's going to do gains from 30 to 150. Please allow this step. Okay, that's fine. Retract your lens. We've done that. Place your device completely dark environment, such as a bag inside a closing. We've done that. Tap the button. It should take about 20 minutes to complete, so let's say, okay, got it. I'm gonna push this button now. Yeah, there we go. So it says about 20 minutes left. We're zero percent, it's running its dark frames right now. So we're just gonna leave that to do its thing. And I'll check back in with you once that's done.
Okay, that is now that complete. So if we go back uh, to our functions, so we've completed that now, we've done the dark frames. Now we're going to do our calibration. We're going to choose a target and let's image it. So let's get on with that. Okay, I forgot a crucial aspect of an astro mode. Of course, what we need to do first is our focus. Let's see how the focus does. Seems like a bit, quite a bit slower than the last time. But in saying that, if it does have a sharp focus, we don't mind it taking a little bit longer. It does say now it can take up to a minute. If that means it's more accurate, then I have absolutely no problem with that. That already looks quite sharp to me. I assume it'll go past it, then back to, back onto it again. So that's it gone past it. And if the algorithm's doing its job, it's going to say it was big, it was small, it's big. And I know where it was its smallest. I'll go back to that now. There you go. Now let's zoom in. Well, they do look lovely and round, don't they? Okay, I'm not going to use my Batonov mask on this. I want to try the, the focus on its own. So now that's focused, let's go to functions. Let's go to calibration. That's just rotating round. Okay, it's trying its first calibration now. First calibration was a success. It's not moving very far. It's actually moving a lot shorter distance now when it calibrates. Calibration was a success. Okay, so that's now done. So again, now following the workflow, let's try uh, Jupiter, confirm. <clears throat> well, I would say we are definitely on Jupiter there, wouldn't you? I was going to say it looked a little bit low, but it has just centered it. Fantastic. So we have Jupiter. Let's zoom in a bit. So I can see it better. We can see the moons of Jupiter there nicely. Okay, let's try something else. So. Objects. Galaxy. Let's go for NGC 2997. Oh, below M95, below the horizon, M99, below the horizon, M91, yep, NGC891, confirm, we're slewing to it. Go to success. Okay. So let's just have a quick look here then. Uh, our exposure, let's put that up to 15. We'll leave it gain at 80. IR pass is fine. We'll give it a second. On the 15 second exposure. Oh, there we go. It's caught up. Right, so we should be there and it should be right in the middle here. And what we'll do, we'll go back to functions, settings, uh, we'll make our count. I'm gonna make it 200. Up and down arrows are handy. Uh, stacked 4K, that's fine. Let's shoot. 
Okay, so it's shooting its first. We can see the shoot process button circling, indicating it's working. It has taken its first image. Once it's taken its second image, we should get our first stack. There we go. Oh, and it is right in the middle of the screen. So that tracking is bang. Look at the clarity of those stars. Look at the pinpoint, how sharp they are. I'm waiting for the second stacked image. And that should give us a better uh, signal to noise ratio. Let me just zoom in. We can see it just here in the middle. Just starting to build up. Three stacked. I'm not entirely sure how I play with the light curves. Aha! So curves you just scroll over a bit further. We can see we have our light curves. So let's take that off just now. We're going to zoom a little bit in on our image, on our galaxy. Functions, curves. Pull that over a bit so I can see it. That's very, very slight. Just reducing some of that background noise. Okay, let me have a look. That's certainly darker. There we go, that's looking nice. Let's leave that like that just now. We're at 50 stacked images. It says total 145. I thought I set that at 200. Okay, that's interesting. But NG. C891 is a very, very small target, say in comparison to the uh, Andromeda Galaxy. Well, we'll just let that keep processing. Okay. That's as finished. That's, wow, look at that star field. That is a nice image. Okay, perfect. Battery is low, 15%. So there we have it. The first look at the new beta version of the software for the Dwarf 2 telescope. I'm sure they're refining it more and obviously feedback from beta testers like myself will obviously help it shape it into the product we hope it's going to be. First impressions though with my hands on it is I love it. Uh, the workflow is a lot more organised from doing your darks um, to your calibration to finding your target to actually take, shooting your image and then obviously adjusting the curves and having a look at it as, as you're stacking the image as well. Um, very, very impressed with it. It does have a few glitches, yes, but of course it's the beta version, it's, it will have. The feedback I'm now going to be sending back to Dwarf Lab, obviously on that little test and the test I'm going to do uh, on it still um, will obviously help shape it into a, a product that we're all going to love and we're all going to enjoy using. Certainly with the 4K binning, I think you're going to get much better uh, resolution images and actually better quality images from the same hardware and that cannot be a bad thing at all. So first impressions, love it, workflow was great, it was very very organised, it felt like a nice piece of software to use, much more mature than the last piece of software. Well there was nothing wrong with the last software, uh, some people thought it was a bit um, clumbersome or a bit awkward to use, this seems to have a bit more logical flow to it and that can't be a bad thing. 
for people using it, perhaps people using it for the first time as well. So yeah, overall very impressed. It was just a quick little uh, demonstration for you and a little test for myself. I will be testing it more extensively, try to get a few more images with it, seeing if I can find any issues with it that I want to report back to Dwarf Lab. But overall, fantastic uh, development, great innovation. Keep going Dwarf Lab, because that was brilliant. Leave your comments below, and I'll endeavor to get back to every single one of you. Yeah, brilliant, what can I say? Really, really happy with this software uh, as it stands at the moment. I'm sure they're refining it further. I'm not exactly sure when the full version will be released to the, the general users, um, including myself, because I've only got limited use of the beta version before I lose that and I have to go back to the old version myself. I'm not jumping ahead of the queue again. I'm just beta testing, putting in my two pence worth, and then I'll be using the old version again until the new release. But yeah, very, very happy with it. What can I say? Uh, I thought the image was was great. I thought the autofocus worked exceptionally well. I think the pinpoint of the stars looked really, really nice. Nice round stars, very, very sharp. Uh, that image I shot, um, that galaxy is a very, very tiny galaxy, say, in comparison to the Andromeda galaxy. When it was just in 2K, uh, I mean, that really was just a little smudge. So to see it now with a lot more definition in 4K, I think, even for such a tiny little target, was a good exercise and a good test, first test for this new PC software. So with that being said, uh, I hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That's very, very much appreciated. Subscribe if you haven't already, if you like this sort of content so you don't miss out on future content and also future um, content when I'm beta testing this new software. But this was a run through for you guys. Now I've got my hands on it and I want to have a wee play. I'll be submitting my report back to Dwarf Lab uh, for the beta test uh, and letting them know what I found, you know, any glitches I, I came across. And there was a few little things uh, I'll certainly mention to them to hopefully improve this product. So hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks very much again for watching my videos and for commenting. A large portion of my viewers are not subscribed. So if you want to subscribe, that's obviously helping me. It helps the YouTube algorithm, as does a thumbs up. Thank you very much. Your support is very much appreciated. And I will catch you on the next video, which I will try and get released fairly soon. Um, so remember, don't forget to look up because you just don't know what you're going to see. Thanks very much, guys. Take care.